Azelaic acid is a skincare super ingredient that a lot of people just don't pay attention to. And I'm here with Dr. Sam Bunting, who <laughs> has not only some of the best azelaic acid products, but her own acne story and knows this ingredient like the back of her hand. Can you tell us why azelaic acid is like forgotten? You know, it's been around for a long time. So I have been prescribing it for over a decade, but I think it took a long time to penetrate the skincare market. And that is because it is tricky to formulate with. Now, if you look at the BNF, which is our book of all the medicines in the UK, when I look at what it's used for, it is by far the most broadly useful active ingredient that we have. Acne, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, melasma, rosacea, perioral dermatitis, I could go on. Everything pretty much that I see coming through the doors of my clinic has in some way a potential to benefit from azelaic acid. That is how useful it is. And you're fine if you're breastfeeding or mm -hmm. pregnant. I mean, it's I can't safe. say that about any other active ingredient in my toolkit. So that is why I have been championing it for at least, I don't know, eight, nine years on social media. I want people to know about this amazing superhero skincare. And here's the thing about azelaic acid is that it's a dicarboxylic acid and it comes from like rye bread and things like that, yeah, right? It's natural. It's <laughs> natural, yes. It's natural. But here's my question, Dr. Sam, when yes. you're talking about Oh, there's my tummy. When, <laughs> my tummy just decided to speak. It loves azelaic acid. It loves azelaic acid. <laughs> when you hear about all of the benefits of azelaic acid, they sound very similar to retinoids, right? Retinoids are great for acne, for scarring, for skin resurfacing, for fine lines, wrinkles, melasma, rosacea, etc. However, retinoids aren't safe for use during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. The mechanism of action, basically the way retinoids work versus azelaic acid works, is very different. Yeah. Can you explain how azelaic acid works in comparison to retinoids? And if one is like like better than the other and for who? Mm -hmm. So how, how does azelaic acid actually work inside of the skin? So the main mechanism of action that's been unraveled is in its role in rosacea, right? So this relationship with azelaic acid and toll-like receptors. Now toll-like receptors represent our innate immune system, so not the antibody part. It's the kind of the general defenses against bad stuff that's in our skin. Mm -hmm. I think of azelaic acid as turning down the intensity of our skin's defenses. Mm -hmm. So in rosacea, I say it's like the fire alarm going off when you boil the kettle rather than when the oven is on fire. So we want to dial that down because that is too much. Mm -hmm. It's too enthusiastic. Azelaic acid turns the dial down so it makes skin behave less sensitively in a very general sense. So that's the first thing. So for instance, somebody with very sensitive, irritable skin who's struggling with the retinoid, I'll often do azelaic acid first mm. and then find that in time that allows me to bring a retinoid in later because the skin is less fiery. So that's the first thing it does, but it, it definitely has the same sort of ability to correct the tendency to form comedones. Mm -hmm. So we know retinoids are doing that for a very well elucidated mechanism, interacting with retinoid receptors, of which there are several types yep and, and kind of increasing that gene skin expression yeah. yeah and it's in, and leading to an improvement in keratinization which stops those clogs from forming in the pores mm -hmm. azelaic acid does something similar not quite so clear how it's doing it but okay. it's definitely got a additive effect so i think that for clearing pores for preventing acne together they are the ultimate power couple. Mm. And would you recommend that somebody use azelaic acid every single day? Is it safe to oh, do so? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Even twice a day. So somebody comes in to me, say they've got mixed rosacea and acne. That's oh, very common. Rosacea, rosacea, acne. Yeah. yeah. So they yeah. often start off with acne in lower face in adulthood, and then they progress a bit of redness in the mid face, and maybe there's a few comedones, but it's more inflammatory. So that's mm -hmm. a perfect candidate for azelaic acid twice a day. Mm -hmm. Building up slowly, because any active when you're, you know, your skin is on fire can be troublesome. So you go slow, you need the right background products, your gentle cleanser, barrier supporting moisturizer, you know, the, so the drill, and probably some mineral sunscreen, something very soothing and calming. And then you slowly titrate up your azelaic acid mm. use. There's no rush. These things all take time to have benefits. <laughs> Why is it yelling at me? I'm so sorry. I think she's excited. Like, I, I love, love azelaic acid. acid. <laughs> It makes sense and it is right. safe to use every day because it's not an acid in the sense of an exfoliating acid. It doesn't no. exfoliate the skin. Um, it's it does smooth out texture. I think it's really mm. important to kind of clarify because people okay. are like, you know, if I'm not, if I'm not using um, an exfoliant when I'm using my retinoid, am I missing a trick? Yeah. And it's simply that you're encouraging natural exfoliation. We're all exfoliating all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So all you're doing is improving the efficiency of that process 
and I don't think you need the additive part then because I mean if you mm -hmm. think about it exfoliation is quite a blunt tool you're just yeah. getting rid of surface dead skin cells nothing is happening mm. inside mm. the cell and that's when you get a really meaningful impact in the skin when you're getting things going on inside your cells and that's why azelaic acid is so powerful oh. where inside of the cell does it specifically work do we know well, like toll like receptors are on the surface uh -huh. because they're inter interacting with um, the environment mm -hmm. and they are triggering inflammation response to different things so it okay. could be temperature it could be wind it could be changes in acidity sure it's it's anything it's that a, you're, kind of a blunt yeah. tool to defend your skin mm -hmm. it goes red it lets you know something's wrong and then you change mm -hmm. what you're doing mm -hmm. it, in, a, in a most simplistic term so too much sun you know then you get activated you go red mm -hmm. and, and exactly you pink go indoors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so by sort of making them less reactive um, it helps in all these different mm. conditions because most of them have a, an inflammatory basis. Mm, and an inflammatory response to, yeah, whether it's rosacea caused by demodex mites, whether it's, like you said, you know, rosacea that's caused by changes in weather, etc. Yeah. But then for acne, do we know how it works for acne? Like, is it killing acne bacteria? Is it helping regulate oil? Or is it just that decreasing of inflammation? So it's definitely antibacterial. Oh, it's wow. also anti-inflammatory. Exactly the same mechanism. So these receptors oh. are involved in different pathways mm -hmm. for disease. Okay. Uh, so again, toll-like receptor activation um, and changing their sensitivity helps reduce inflammation mm -hmm. in the skin. It also helps by inhibiting uh, tyrosinase. So you're going to yes. get less pigment, pigment. and less post-inflammatory marks, which is great yeah. news. Well, that's actually how azelaic acid was discovered, right? There's a condition called tinea versicolor, mm -hmm. which is uh, kind of looks like leopard spots on someone's back. Um, and it's uh, there's also like malassezia, which is a type of yeast. And they were finding that in people who had this skin condition that their bodies were producing more of this dicarboxylic acid, this azelaic acid, and then it was able to be used in skincare. I mean, is that correct? Is that how azelaic acid was originally found? Yeah, it certainly comes from malassezia. Yeah. Um, so as you say, a naturally occurring thing and it switches off pigmentation mm -hmm. production. So. And that's why when you see people with like this, you know, this condition, you look at them and you're like, oh my gosh, like it's missing pigment. And that's because like you said, azelaic acid is in a, like it's a tyrosinase inhibitor that stops that tyrosinase, that enzyme from being able to create pigment. Exactly. Just so interesting. So that being said, is azelaic acid safe for people who are a Fitzpatrick type 4, 5, or 6? Who have black or ebony skin? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I, I really can't think of a category where some people are super sensitive. It can be a little stingy on first application. Mm. If your nerves are sensitive to acids, then, mm. you know, sometimes you just can't get on with it. But I find generally with persistence and even just starting at a lower percentage. Mm -hmm. Now, the good thing is because of the proliferation of azelaic acid products over the counter, you can go in low. So yeah. in the olden days, you know, all I had was 15% or 20% on prescription. Phoenicia, now, yeah. Exactly, we've got 5% in nightly, yeah. we've got 10% in brightly, um, which you know, I think really does set the brand apart. I want that ingredient in the mix. Mm -hmm. It was very important to me. It required patience. My chemist was pulling her hair out by the end of it. So that's my question. We formulated this one 39 times. Oh my god. Three years Three and years. so much heartache. Neutralizing so gel was also tell me, tell me about azelaic acid and why it is yeah. so hard to formulate with because it, it's derived from rye, from malassezia, but is it a white powder? Like, why is it so difficult to mix in? So, I mean, we used to use a solution, a suspension, so okay. it's particles sitting in um, a liquid, mm -hmm. um, and that does tend to make it gritty at mm -hmm. times. So mm -hmm. we've we've now found a new formula, um, which mm -hmm. is a powder, which is much much better and creates and a much smoother product. But you know, for me, building because I always thought azelaic was for daytime. I mean, obviously, obviously mm -hmm. there's some azelaic yep. in nightly. Yeah. With but the retinoid is kind of takes priority in mm -hmm. the main. Unless you're having a sensitive episode and you're just using azelaic and no mm -hmm. no retinoid at all. But if you're if you're at all concerned with acne or pigmentation or the signs of aging, it should be a retinoid that's in your nighttime routine, creating that space in the morning for something like azelaic okay. acid, yes, and maybe your antioxidants. So the texture for your daytime serum, it has to be really good. It has to layer nicely or else mm -hmm. you're Sunscreen, in trouble, right? everything else, foundation, it won't work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that's why it was that's so why difficult. it was such a Wow. control freak about getting this super silky um, and everything in one layer because I personally don't have space for more than like one active layer mm -hmm. in the morning I mean I'm you know my mornings need to be efficient mm -hmm. so I know I'm gonna cleanse I know I'm gonna moisturize I know I'm gonna use SPF and makeup so it's like what can I what get can I into one layer yeah. for maximum impact so we've got azelaic we've got niacinamide we've got pacuchal we've got Yay. a little bit of vitamin C so I love vitamin C I was gonna say great speaking of using azelaic acid in the morning mm. or the evening I get a lot of people asking what can or can't 
ingredient you mix it with. And I find that you can pair it with it's almost anything. With everything, yeah. Is there anything you should or should not mix it with? I don't use it with benzoyl peroxide. Okay. Ever. Really? Because um, the benzoyl peroxide will... Not because of... Just irritate. more just from a stacking effect. I just think it's too much. And generally speaking, if you need BPO, you probably should be using that more generally to mm -hmm. get breakouts under control and then switch up to your azelaic when you're in what I call the tidy up phase. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're solving texture, block pores, we're preventing, we're dealing with post-inflammatory pigmentation because benzoyl peroxide has no impact on any of the consequences. Okay. okay. So it's really just for when the fire is going strong. You Look at my you back. Know. I was showing Dr. Sam my back and she was like, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, you were being honest with backs me. are tough. Backs because, are so you tough. Know, if you have, like, even yeah. so little in lots of places, it's like, it's so time consuming and it messes your clothes, it messes your bedding up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just need to take something oral just to make your own yeah. life a little bit easier. Yeah, so and when you've been battling for a long time, you sometimes just think, oh, Maybe this is it. This maybe is, it'll know, be easier. Yeah. But um, sometimes you just need a fresh set of eyes and maybe just a little mm -hmm. nudge towards something that might be worth a try again. That's why Dr. Sam is such a great skincare <laughs> friend. So here's my question. Yes. Speaking of skincare friends, yes. if azelaic acid was a person in our lives, <laughs> who would it be? <laughs> is that funny? Oh, it's really funny. Okay, so like, the, like who would it be? Gets along with everyone. Yes. So um, really easy effective. Going, reliable. Okay you know, can listen as well as maybe, I don't know, help you change a tire, like <laughs> multitasking. Multitasking. I think it's like that guy friend that you secretly realize you're in love with. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. You have like a eureka moment. You realize how much you rely on them and how much life would be but better. Were, like, like in, in the background, there. Yeah. not a fancy retinoid, you know, not the bad boy benzoyl peroxide that's like stripping your skin barrier. <laughs> Yeah, but always there, always yeah, like a reliable. Sneaky superhero, yeah. A sneaky superhero. A sneaky superhero. I really feel like Azelaic Acid is an unsung superhero. And I think you're right, so many brands don't formulate with it because it is difficult. It's tricky. But it's like almost anybody could use it in their routine if they wanted to. And Pretty certain much. people who have specifically rosacea but acne, they should be using it I in their routine. So. I mean, that's me, right? I'm definitely more of a rosacea, rosy, yeah. strawberry face girly. Aww. I love the strawberry makeup. Strawberry like, makeup. Dude, I just need to wear less makeup yes. and my strawberry filter. <laughs> 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 so true. But um but yeah, so I think it's such a perfect ingredient when you because almost everybody has a bit of overlap. You know, you've got acne but you've got some early signs of aging, you know, you've mm -hmm. got a bit of redness, but you're getting a few, you know, blemishes in your chin. And there's always this Venn diagram of what what ingredients can I use that mm -hmm. one you know that treating one problem won't kick off the other. Uh, oh so my gosh, yes. It's such a safe place with it that if you do nothing else but try that twice a day and then see where you get to. Plus, as I say, I do find it increases the tolerability of other actives downstream. See, that's amazing. Also, when paired with niacinamide, I think the two together mm. can really improve. I can get people using t retinoids who had eczema. I think that you know they're just not ever going to have that happen for them. So, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm very positive about the way it can change the way your skin behaves mm -hmm. long term. Mm -hmm. Well, can I use a little bit of the neutralizing gel? You can. No, it's not very it glamorous. I put favorites. it in a pot because I was traveling. <laughs> I love this. I don't really know why I thought a big this. part of it was going to be better than a tube but anyway so it's in a pot. I don't have the tube with because I'm um, traveling I as well. Bed and you can, no um, no you no can that would be amazing because I have this little pimple here I've been telling Dr. Sam. I've been going through it that's probably why my stomach is like like it literally the emotions. Did you have your breakfast? Yes I did. Oh, did. No okay. but the emotions have an impact on my gastrointestinal. Oh, <laughs> it's like oh my god an HSP you know like who's the <laughs> exactly. Somebody told me a piece of information the day. <laughs> when you put UV rays on your skin you change your gut microflora and I had a sudden moment of realizing that it is all just one tube connected. Oh yeah, we're a heart, we're a donut. But it, I mean, we're I, a human donut. I never, I really never had that thing of like it it's is. just, it's just a continuum. Really? Yes. I don't know why. I don't know. I guess when you're so focused on the outside, outside. you don't think quite as holistically. You're as a maybe human else. donut hole. <laughs> no, really. But like, I have donut. so many gastrointestinal issues <laughs> that I don't even realize I'm stressed, and I feel it in my back, in my shoulders, and then in my stomach. And like, mm. they're like, I. I've been going through it and Sam knows all about it, but like and I've spoken about it, like I'm yelling at a brick wall. I literally not wall, you're, you're not she's, <laughs> no, she's not a brick wall. She I'm, is I'm another donor. <laughs> so we're donuts together. No, but like <laughs> I didn't expect my stomach to have such an impact on my skin. And yeah. I like there are days that I can't even down water without feeling sick. And I'm like, this isn't even physical, this is mental. But then I'm breaking out like this and I'm like, azelaic acid, why am I not going for this? Because then here's the issue. 
I Let don't use this. You, no, you no, no. I'm that. just gonna. I, ha I have my own. I just ha didn't bring it with me. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I won't do my skincare properly, which is unreal. Like, I'm not. I have but not we been all myself. We self-sabotage a little bit when we're not in a good place, I right? Know, I mean, but you know, then we, it's we like... stay up late watching Netflix. I started watching Painkillers last night. Oh my goodness. Was it good? Oh, it's very good. Um, I know you don't Netflix much, but um, um, that would be my thing. Of like, I need. I know I need to go to bed. I knew I was filming with you this morning, and, and what did I do? Oh, just one more. Just, just one more. Just one more. And I'm loving the internal dialogue, like. Samantha, go to sleep. No for more. Me, it's the intrusive thoughts. <laughs> like the intrusive thoughts. No, but like I, I'll forget to use my retinoid because I, I I won't do my skincare, which again totally not like me. But then I can't go back into using a prescription strength retinoid. So I need that. Well, you need to ease in gently, don't you? I mean, there's no rush with these things. So if I, I can just here, can I use some brightly. Can I use um, some brightly? I love this. Thank oh. you. Oh, okay. Leave it. Leave it in your look at these here. though. Look at these though. <laughs> I will be gone quickly. Do that and then do the neutralizing gel later. Look so you get a little bit of... And then I don't even know that I'm picking. You gotta keep the weapon short, hey. That's the one thing I, I know. Would say. I would. Um, I would have. These are out. stickers. They are naturally really short for facial for not, piano. Um, no, I, I rip them off. They're little stickers. Like, they're so short you can't even see the natural nail. Are you kidding me? These are all stickers. Here, I'll rip one off for you, Dr. Sam, because I have extras. <laughs> look, 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 look. They're my Does absolute that not feel favorites. Quite freaky. Does that not like have a. No, not at all. Let I me love see, them. Let me see, let me see. That's my. That's a little bit longer, but. That way I can do. I know, but there's still a bit. I mean, in terms of, you know, if you're doing it when you're on the phone and you're not even realizing because mm -hmm. you're not like. I don't know. It's also another thing is to have a little mirror where your places for picking are. Oh. Mm. So that you can see, you get that little bit of feedback. You just catch your, your own eye every so often. I mean, you don't pick on a Zoom, right? No. No, so it's the other okay. parts where you don't have the feedback that I think, if you know that those are your weak moments. And like I said, so. My important. weak moments recently. <laughs> well. You have to give yourself a, I know. a whole cup a little play, bit, right? Yeah. So we're not we're not we're not doing and then put them over here self and attack today. We actually had an amazing conversation on her channel about mental health and even skin picking. Please go check that out. Uh, my favorite Dr. Sam's product has to be the neutralizing gel for azelaic <laughs> acid. Absolutely phenomenal. In a pot, phenomenal. normally in a tube, guys. Phenomenal. It really is great, isn't it? Yeah. And then really how about nice. you? If you had to choose one of your babies and like oh. pick favorites. The you neutralizing know, gel, Brightly, Nightly. What's your for, favorite? Uh, for Azalec, it's probably Brightly. Is it? And then I use Nightly Pro now, which I... Because this has the vitamin I'm C. I'm so happy with it. So it's, just, it's got a bit of everything. And the, the Cucciol is calming and also helps with some sort of retinoid-like benefits. It's just so good for pigment and redness. Mm. And, you know, keeping my skin calm so I don't really think about it too much. And I think mm. that is the goal. When I see patients with breakouts, it takes them so much longer to shed the mental angst relating to their skin than, than the actual solving of the skin problems. But I know they're doing well when they come to me and go, what about my pores? Because mm. it means the acne is no longer looming large mm. and we're, we're on to the next on thing. On to the next thing. You know? <gasps> and then I tell them yes. to cool cool down, you know, <laughs> let us Calm. sit with our achievements. Yeah. Yeah. Let us marinate on the progress that we've, you know, you're coming in here, yep. no makeup on, you're yeah. happy, eye contact is good, all that stuff, you know, the hallmarks, the non-verbal that tell me they're doing well. And let's just celebrate it before we, you know, do yeah. that human thing of filling the void with something else. Oh gosh, I'd like to fill <laughs> the void in my heart with other things and oh. maybe azelaic acid is the key. So, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Well, I will make sure that all of these are listed below. Please go check out the video we did on Dr. Sam's channel and if we didn't answer a question that you have, put it in the commentos. Yeah. Commentos, the yes. Habit. They're like mentos, they're like little mints of nuggets of the knowledge commentos. from your fellow community members. So, stay oh hydrated both orally and topically reapply that SPF and always, always. be beautiful both inside and out. Love that. Bye guys. Love you guys. Bye.